We're turning into a nation of non-believers, most of us preferring to sleep in on a Sunday than go to church. One in five Aussies now consider themselves not religious, the highest number of godless in a century. Churches are closing, being sold up. Many churches are pretty empty. People are not going to church. Dr. Francis McNabb is Executive Minister at St. Michael's Uniting Church. He says churches are losing members because they're out of touch. If you believe in the Ten Commandments, then believe in the love of them. And one of them is, thou shalt not covet thy neighbour's ox. Well, my neighbour doesn't have an ox. McNabb is all too aware traditional churches need to shake things up in order to make believers stay. We're not recognising that a great chunks of the Bible are, are really fiction, poetry and so on. And to take it literally is to, is to deny our intelligence. Jason Ball from the Atheist Foundation of Australia says atheism is the country's fastest growing belief, if you can call it a belief. Religious leaders these days just don't communicate our values anymore. Our social conscience has evolved past a lot of the tenets and dogmas of religion. Uh, for instance, you know, we no longer see homosexuality as a sin or immoral. While Australians are leaving traditional churches in droves, an increasing number are flocking to a new style of worship. Every Sunday, thousands of people jump for Jesus at mega churches around the country. An almighty shout of praise on the count of three, come on! Pastor Paul Geerling founded Metro Church Brisbane. People said it's a rock concert. I just think it's a high energy worship. Uh, young people have had a great experience of God in their lives and they want to express their love and their passion to Him with energy and with joy. I want to be happy when I go to church. I, I, want, to, I want to feel welcome and I want to feel alive. I don't want to be bored. Churches like Paul's are realising they need to get creative in order to lure new members. What they've done is they've taken it from a church and put it in a rock stadium. The sheer level of sleek production values and the amazing lightings, I think they're, they're just tools to manipulate people into you know, rel relinquishing their sense of reason in order to be overcome by some sort of emotional state and hysteria. I do think we need to have those creative parts to our churches to communicate a message that people understand. But while fewer people believe in God, most Australians do identify with some form of spirituality. I don't believe in God, but I want to believe in something. I believe in God, but like I don't believe that there's a heaven and a hell. There will always be a part in society for it. There's always going to be around. It's too ancient. So maybe the future of faith isn't fixed just yet. I think if we can only have a fresh look at what religion can be about. It can contribute very positively to people's way of living. I think as society moves away from religion, one of the things we're going to be left with is this huge gap of the sense of community that religions provide. What are you going to provide in, in place of that?